A while back, the Mela team and I had a shoot in the Shangweni area. And on the way there, we stumbled upon a little haven in Hillcrest, where we met the incredible Shirley Nyker. She's totally at one with her surroundings, and I found the experience so inspiring that I just had to share it with the rest of my Mela family. Karishma decided to take up my suggestion, and she headed for Hillcrest. Saying it with flowers, the garden left no room for doubt regarding Shirley Niger's green fingers. And our host was selecting a special bloom for the day when Karishma arrived. When Zakia couldn't stop talking about a beautiful church and cafe that she happened to stumble upon in Hillcrest, I knew it had to be top of my to-do list the next time I was in Durban. Thanks, Zak, because looking around, looks like I'm in for a real treat. As a pastor, Shirley devotes Sunday mornings to a service in the chapel, with candles adding to the glowing colours brought from her flower beds. Speaks a prophetic word over our lives. Yes. And it's now for you and I to grasp that prophetic word and allow it to manifest in our lives. Thank you, Chuck. Shirley, that was such a beautiful sermon. Wow, it's so awesome to have you with us this morning. You are a passionate pastor, a owner of a beautiful cafe, and you put together wonderful events. Tell me a bit about your journey. Everyone evolves, and I've evolved into becoming who I am at this stage. It's not something that I have dreamed up and worked towards. I think every opportunity that came my way, I just like maximized on it. I'm sure you could use a cup of coffee. I'm always in for that. Let's go. The property is home to Soul Restorer Family Ministries and in addition to her pastoral responsibilities, Shirley also runs the cafe. So Karishma, this is the little cafe where it all began. Would you like to take a seat? I'd love that. This was basically a residential property that we bought for the church and the cafe just evolved from there. Shirley, I absolutely love the decor in here. It's not always something that's easy to get right. How did you go about decorating the cafe? You know, it's just about acquiring little bits and pieces. I think it's just very much my flair and uh, things that I just pick up and it just eventually all comes together. You also do a lot of work as a counsellor. Tell me a bit about that. I absolutely love people and all the work that I do, you know, relates to empowering people. I'm doing a lot of couples counselling. I'm very good with that and I see a lot of success in the couples counselling. How have your own family and friends helped and supported you along your journey? I believe very much in the Ubuntu principle. You are what you are because of other people. I really hold dear to that. I have an amazing family. My husband is incredibly supportive. I am who I am because he's encouraged me to be the person that I am. How did events planning weave its way into your already very busy schedule? We generally very hospitable people. It comes naturally. So it really stems from, from that. I always believe whatever's in your hands, you could use that to take it to another level. And what do you love most about events? I'm very happy to see other people making memories. Like for example, when we do weddings here, that is one of the biggest events in one's life. So I take it very seriously and I do the whole coordination for the wedding personally. By the way, uh, we're actually holding an event today. I actually have to check on that. Would you mind if I tag along and watch your work? Absolutely, I'd love for you to be with me. Shirley, this looks so pretty. Oh, thank you. Can you take me through the entire process of putting together an event like this? We started with the number of guests. The number of guests would dictate which venue, which space we're going to use. And then it depends also on their budget. So we coordinate the whole thing. People basically just walk in and walk out. The only things they may bring is maybe a special cake, a function. People spend a lot of money on it. They want it to go well. And so I'm very passionate about seeing that everything goes according to their plans and their expectations and also exceeding their expectations. Now when it comes to any event, food is always a hot topic. How did you go about curating the menu for not only the cafe but for each of your events? I think it all lies in the tasting, so how about you and I go and have some? Well, I'll never say no to a piece of cake. Would you like some milk? No, I'm good, thank you. You made the right choice. 
I love the lemon meringue and so does most of our clients. Shirley, you are an empowered woman and you work really hard to empower others. But I'm sure that journey hasn't come without its own challenges. It has definitely come with its challenges. I think from our cultural perspective and many cultures, women have always been put down. And to arise in business as an entrepreneur, everyone has the ability to do whatever they want to. And I encourage people out there, especially women, to each for the heights. And we are individuals and we don't need to be dependent on someone else or, or on a marriage or a husband to actually make us who we are. You live such a fulfilled life, but is there anything that you'd like to try your hand at in the future? Right now we are launching a business network here from Springside. I also do the Lotus Ministry on Sunday evenings at 7 p.m., 7 to 8. And then I have the community call in and that's my favorite. I end my week when the callers call in on a Sunday evening and I just feel as if I know them, as if I have a relationship with them. And these are people who are going through real life issues and they all they need is for someone to just listen and hear what they have to say. Well, Shirley, we here at Mela wish you nothing but success going forward. And if this cake is anything to go by, I'm sure it's going to be a sweet success. Thank you. It was lovely hosting you here today. A few hours later, Shirley was behind the microphone, welcoming her listeners with the same warmth and energy as she brings to her ministry, the cafe and her garden. Good evening and welcome to yet another Power Hour. We have a very interesting and exciting show tonight. Be expectant this week for miracles to take place. This is Pastor Shirley Nyker for Gospel Hour here on Lotus FM. 